To start marketing your business successfully online, there are three main things that you need to know in order to start generating new leads, nurturing those leads, and converting those leads into sales. And that is what we're gonna be talking about today. So like I said, we're gonna be breaking these parts down into three main points. So make sure that you have on your notebook and you're ready to get started. Before we get into it, hello and welcome to another episode of Unedited, where we talk about all things sales, marketing, and mindset. My name is Lauren Nelson. I am your favorite sales and marketing coach. And today we are talking about how to market your business on social media. So let's get into it. Like I said, there are three main points that you need to remember. The first one is to attract, oops. Attract, the second one is to nurture. And the third is to convert. Now, these three things are very crucial when it comes to figuring out what types of content will perform the best on your pages and get you the most results. A lot of times when people are posting on social media, they're doing so without a lot of intention behind it, right? They just know the gurus online are telling them to post, 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 post as much as you can. But if you're just posting with no end goal, with no intention, you won't get the results that you're looking for. You won't even know what to look for. So this is why we're gonna break this down into three main steps, starting with the first one, which is attract. Now, in the attract phase, I also talk about this in one of my other videos when I'm discussing the sales funnel. This is the first phase in everything. If you do not have people, if you do not have eyeballs in your content, if you are not generating new leads, none of this matters, <laughs> right? You have no one to convert. And so this is why we focus on this in the attraction phase. Now, another way to put the attraction phase or another way to call the attraction phase is brand awareness phase. Um, so in, these, in this awareness phase, that's when people first get to know about your brand. That's when they first learn who you are. That's when they're able to connect with what you do and figure out if the information you're providing is relevant to the current situation. If what you have to offer is something they want to learn more about. And so the things we can expect in this attract phase are things like educational content. We can expect things like um, trending, con trending content or point of view where we're talking and putting ourselves in the seat of the customer or in client and discussing and talking about what the pain points are that they're experiencing, right? And so really this main point right here is just opening up conversation as to what your customer's problems are and showing them that you have the ability to solve it. Again, we're making them aware. This is the first handshake of you and whoever is new. So when you go on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, you'll notice that you have the impressions, right? You have the people who swipe past and sing. And this is something that's really important to keep track of because you want to see how many people, how many new eyes are looking at your content, right? And obviously the more people who look, the more out the algorithm will then push your content. So all of these things are essential to keep in mind. Now next we're gonna go into nurture. In the nurture phase, this is when you're continuing proving your credibility, showing that you are an authority in your industry and giving them the value that they need to see that you can help them get from where they are to where they want to go. Okay, and then we're going to be ending up in the convert phase. Now, this is where the sales happen. This right here, this is marketing. But converting comes down to asking and telling them, okay? And so when we're converting, we're focusing on the call to action. We're focusing on creating the content that communicates the transformation very clearly. We're focusing on being able to get them to see how working with us will better benefit their lives. And so we wanna make sure that as we're going through these three phases, we're figuring out what type of content will fit perfectly into each one of these, right? And that's just on a very broad scope. But some more tips that I wanna give you in regards to making sure that your social media efforts online are maximized um, starts with 
setting expectations for your audience. Now, before I get to the next point, make sure you hit this like button and subscribe. Obviously, if you made it in this far, you, you enjoyed something. Okay, so hit that subscribe button. And all right, let's get back into it. So setting expectations for your audience. This is really important because the expectation that you set will decide or will determine who you attract to you, right? And this comes down with branding. This comes down with posting consistency. This comes down to the level of value that you decide to present. Now, these expectations, I would say, or how people view your brand, yes, it's immediate, but to change the perspective of your entire brand, I would say that it takes around two to three months of content consistently, right? To even change and, how can you say this? To even change and help shift the perspective of your current audience, it will take about three months. So let's say you have your business right now and you're just posting the post, you don't really know, you're just trying to build awareness. And then you finally decide you're going to rebrand. You're going to start having a new message to share online. You're going to be more consistent. You're switching completely what you're talking about. That's going to take time. People already know you as one thing, right? So in order to shift that perspective, you just have to realize that it will take time. People will have to re-get to know you. You'll have to reintroduce yourself. So don't be afraid to start over if you need to. Don't be afraid to um, switch paths or change your messaging or change your branding, but just know that as you're doing this, it will take time. So don't get discouraged if you see like, oh wow, things aren't happening for me like I thought they were. But not only do you have to reacquaint your audience with the new version of you, the new version of your business, but you have to reacquaint yourself to you, right? Because you're just starting, you're getting, you're new to this. So it has to become second nature to you as well. Now, the second point, oops, I forgot to write it down, hold on. See, we gotta get used to, I gotta reacquaint myself with this board. So number one, or we wanna do number one. Okay, let's do a bullet point. Ooh, set expectations. All right, and then the second point is to, I swear, I do this to myself every time, I write like chicken from scratch. Oh, yes, okay. Number two, become obsessed. <laughs> become obsessed. Okay, so this one is really important, especially when it comes to consistently finding new content topics to go into these three buckets right here. What I mean by become obsessed is to realize that you need to be taking in new content about your industry or about topics in your industry every single day. Whether you're reading about it, watching videos, listening to podcasts, that's how you stay inspired. I know you guys have had times or maybe like week sprints, right? Where you work so hard, you're so dedicated to your business and you're like, wow, that was a lot. That's how it should feel for a while, right? For the next three weeks when you recommit, it should feel like a lot until you retrain your brain. I know we've all been there where we have to take our SATs or if you're in a different country, you have to prepare for these really big tests that are gonna place you somewhere. Those tests are exhausting. At the end of the test, your brain is fried, right? But as you continue to work your brain, because your brain is a muscle, imagine you're lifting weights and your arm getting sore. If you keep doing that consistently, a month later, that same weight is gonna be a piece of cake, right? So the same thing with your brain. The way you feel how you become obsessed for that one week and then you fall off, you have to get consistent with that until it becomes second nature to your brain where that level of commitment to yourself is no longer exhausting, but it's second nature, it's what you do. You are able to consume content about your industry every day. You're able to create content every day because you're inspired every day, right? You're learning something new. And uh, the reason why a lot of you guys lack confidence around posting is because you just don't have the information to post about, right? It's not that you aren't good. It's not that you don't have product, great products or services. It's that when it comes to marketing, you lack the confidence and the preparation because you haven't prepared. You, you've just been sitting around talking about your products all day, 
But the market and the industry has changed, especially in regards to social media. You have to do more. And not do more in that sense, right? Because it's always been, if you post more, you get more engagement, you get more leads, you can nurture more leads, you can convert more leads. But people just don't want the regular, regular anymore. The times have evolved, and so you have to evolve with them. And that means becoming obsessed with your industry, becoming obsessed with learning. And right, these are all good things. Why would you not want to be an expert in your industry? Why would you not want to be the one who knows the most about your products or services? Why would you not want to be the most um, valuable person in your industry to your customers? Become obsessed. It's a good thing. Now, the last thing that I want to share Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Posting with intention. <laughs> so we're going to put intention. Okay. Intention. This is key. Again, going back to these three points right here. Oh, how cute. I kind of made like a little... Oh, that's so nice. Okay, anyway. So <laughs> going back to these three things right here. Um, intention is everything. If you're just posting to post, you will not get the results, right? It, where your attention goes, it grows. So if you're intending to attract, then you're looking at this post, seeing if it did the job you assigned it to do. Okay, I'm creating this post because my goal is to attract more leads, attract new eyeballs on my content. Did it do the job, yes or no? Okay, let me post another one. But let me switch it up a little bit. Did it do the job, yes or no? No, okay, let me look at the numbers. Did this do better than the last post? Okay, let me post it again. We're trying to attract new leads. Did this do better? I tried to add this and this from the last two posts. Now it's good. Yes, it's attracting new leads. Now, should we keep posting this over and over and over again? Yes or no? Yes, it did well. Intention, right? Okay, let's go to nurture. I'm gonna create this post that's meant to nurture my audience. Did it work, yes or no? Am I getting good comments, good feedback? Yes or no? Are people sharing this? Yes or no? Convert. I'm creating this post because I want to convert the leads that I have nurtured. How many people DM me after I posted this post? How many sales did I get after I made this post? Did I get one sale? Okay, let me make another one. Next week I'm, or in the next three days, I'm gonna make another conversion, uh, converting post. Oh, I got three sales this time. Okay, that's great, I wanna do more like this. Okay, how can we make this better? All of this revolves around intention. Intention, because with intention, you're able to make smart decisions. You're able to look at the data and know exactly what needs to happen because you know what you're looking for. If you're just posting the post, then you're like, well, okay, impressions were up, engaged counts, great, non-followers, followers, they were up. Oh, I lost three five. Like, you don't know what you're looking for. All the numbers mean nothing because you have nothing to compare to. You have no end goal. You have no way to track. Okay? Intention is everything when it comes to marketing on social media. Do I have anything else on here for you? Mm hmm mm hmm No. Okay. Any, what's on here? Okay. But, yeah. Anyways, that is all I have for you today. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Please, I'm actually interested to know what you guys want to know more of. I actually took time to make a full list of sales and marketing content that I'm putting out this upcoming week, but I would love to hear so much from you about what you would like to hear more of because this is for you. This is not for me. I know this stuff, but this is for you because I want to share. And I believe even when I'm talking to my clients in our calls, I learn the most and get the most and figure out what they need the most by hearing from them. They tell me, I can't read minds. I can't read your minds, okay? So be sure to leave a comment down below um, explaining what you would like to see and some upcoming videos. This is video 22, I believe. I'm so proud of me. I'm so proud of me. But yeah, the 30 day unedited series has been going very well and I'm so happy you guys have been engaging and liking and sharing. I appreciate when you guys share so much. Um, but yeah, hopefully, just for my besties who stayed this long, definitely the things that I'm working on going into the new year, getting um, video quality up, I'm going to get a mic so you guys can hear me better, and I'm going to get some better lighting. My lights just broke. That's crazy to me. I don't know how they did that. Don't know how they did that, but 
yeah, we're gonna be up in this production up a little bit more because right now I'm, we're doing a bare minimum. But this entire series was meant to help me rebuild the habit of showing up daily. So it did its per it's, it did its purpose. The intention was clear. That's my sign to go. All right, love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.